Today we'll be looking at development of number systems one and the subtopic is basis of counting. It is most likely that mathematics began when people started to count and measure. Counting and measuring are part of everyday life. Nearly every language in the world contains words for numbers and measures. People have always used their fingers to help them when counting. This led to collecting numbers in groups, sometimes fives, fingers of one hand, sometimes tens, both hands, and even in groups of 20, hands and feet. When people group numbers in fives, we say they are using this five method of counting. Most people use this ten when counting. For this reason, this ten is used internationally. We will now look at symbols for numbers. As civilization developed, spoken languages were written down using symbols. Symbols are letters and marks which represent sounds and ideas. Thus, the words on this page are symbols. For spoken words. Numbers were also written down. We use the word numerous for number symbol. Now we look at tally marks. The first numerous were probably tally marks. People made tally marks to represent the number of things they had. The tally marks were scratched on stones or sometimes cut on sticks. We have the tally there from 1 to 10. We can see that number 1 just one stroke, number 2 like that. But when we get to 5, the fifth stroke is used to cross the other ones. 6, 5 and 1, 7 is 5 and 2, and so on and so forth. So for example, if we want to write 12 now, it will be 2 strokes of 5, then 2 attached to it in the front. 